Here is the latest from our news desk. In an era defined by constant connectivity, a growing movement across the United States is paradoxically seeking to disconnect from the very infrastructure that underpins modern communication. This isn't about digital detoxes or Luddite resistance. It's a pragmatic and technologically sophisticated pivot towards off-grid communication systems, driven by a confluence of concerns ranging from natural disasters and infrastructure, fragility to privacy and community resilience. At the heart of this trend lies mesh networking, a decentralized approach to communication that is rapidly gaining traction. From the forested mountains of the Pacific Northwest to the hurricane-prone coastlines of the Gulf, this shift represents a fundamental rethinking of how Americans connect, moving away from a reliance on centralized, corporate-controlled networks and towards peer-to-peer -to -peer systems that promise greater autonomy, security and reliability when conventional methods fail. The trend is fueled by a diverse coalition of users, including emergency preparedness enthusiasts, rural communities privacy advocates, and outdoor adventurers all contributing to an evolving ecosystem of hardware and software designed for a world where the internet and cell service are not guaranteed. The rise of interest in mesh networking and off-grid communication in the United States is not a sudden phenomenon, but rather a steady groundswell, fueled by a series of high-profile events that have exposed the vulnerabilities of traditional communication infrastructures. Increasingly severe weather events, such as the devastating wildfires in California and Hawaii, the widespread power outages in Texas during winter storms and the seasonal onslaught of hurricanes along the Atlantic and Gulf coasts have repeatedly demonstrated how quickly centralized cellular and internet services can collapse. In the aftermath of these disasters, communities found themselves isolated unable to contact emergency services or check on loved ones. These real-world failures have served as a powerful catalyst, pushing the abstract concept of grid-down communication into the realm of practical necessity for millions of Americans beyond natural disasters. A growing undercurrent of skepticism towards big tech and government surveillance has also propelled the off-grid movement. Concerns over data privacy, censorship, and the monopolistic control exerted by a handful of telecommunication giants have led many to seek alternatives that offer greater control over their personal data and communications. The desire for digital sovereignty resonates deeply within a culture that values independence and self-reliance. Consequently, mesh networks, which operate independently of internet service providers and can offer end-to-end -end encryption, have become an attractive solution for those wishing to create secure private lines of communication. This convergence of preparedness for physical disasters and a desire for digital autonomy has created a fertile environment for innovation and adoption. The technology is no longer confined to niche hobbyist circles. It's becoming a mainstream topic of discussion in community preparedness groups, neighborhood associations, and even local government emergency planning meetings across the country. At its core, mesh networking is a type of network topology in which individual devices or nodes connect directly to one another in a dynamic and non-hierarchical fashion. Unlike traditional networks that rely on a central point like a cell tower 
or a Wi-Fi router. Each node in a mesh network can send, receive and relay data. If one node fails or goes offline, the network automatically reroutes the data through other available nodes, creating a resilient and self-healing system. This decentralized structure is the key to its power for off-grid communication. When cellular towers are down and internet cables are cut, devices equipped with mesh networking capabilities can still create their own independent network, allowing users within range to communicate directly with each other. This peer-to-peer -peer communication often utilizes low-power radio frequencies, such as LoRa Long Range, which allows for the transmission of small packets of data, like text messages and GPS coordinates, over several miles with minimal power consumption. The practical applications of this technology are vast and varied. For a neighborhood disaster response team, a mesh network can provide a vital communication link for coordinating search and rescue efforts. When 911 is overloaded, for a group of hikers in a remote national park with no cell service, it offers a way to track each other's locations and send messages in case of an emergency. For rural communities with spotty or non-existent broadband access, it can form the basis of a community-owned network providing essential connectivity without relying on expensive and often unavailable corporate services. The beauty of the system lies in its scalability and adaptability. The more users who join the network, the stronger and more extensive it becomes. This network effect is a powerful driver of adoption. As the value for each user increases with the participation of their neighbors and community members, fostering a collaborative approach to building communication resilience from the ground up. The American market is now home to a burgeoning ecosystem of hardware and software solutions. Catering to the growing demand for off-grid communication, companies like Gotenna and Burtooth were early pioneers, developing sleek, consumer-friendly devices that pair with a smartphone via Bluetooth. These devices act as small radio transceivers, enabling users to send text messages and share GPS locations through a dedicated app, effectively turning their smartphones into off-grid communication tools their products have found a strong following among outdoor enthusiasts. International travelers and attendees of large festivals where cell networks are often congested. These platforms have proven the consumer appetite for simple plug-and-play solutions that work straight out of the box democratizing access to technology that was once the domain of amateur radio operators and technical experts. Parallel to these commercial offerings, a vibrant open source movement has emerged, fostering innovation and accessibility. Projects like Meshtastic have gained significant popularity by leveraging inexpensive, readily available LoRa hardware boards which can be purchased for as little as $20 to $30. Meshtastic provides the open source firmware that turns these simple boards into powerful mesh networking nodes. This DIY approach has appealed to the tech-savvy prepper community and tinkerers who enjoy the flexibility and customizability of building their own devices, the Meshtastic. Community is highly active, with users constantly developing new features, creating 3D printed enclosures, and sharing knowledge through online forums and groups. This grassroots innovation is rapidly expanding the capabilities of what's possible with low-cost hardware 
integrating features like weather station relays, sensor data transmission, and gateways that can selectively bridge the off-grid network to the internet when a connection is available. This duality of polished consumer products and flexible open source projects ensures that there are entry points for users of all technical skill levels and budgets, further accelerating the adoption of mesh technology across the nation. Looking ahead, the trend of mesh networking and off-grid communication in the United States is poised for significant growth and evolution. One of the most promising frontiers is the integration of mesh capabilities directly into mainstream consumer devices. While still in its nascent stages, the concept of smartphones with built-in low-power radio hardware that can form ad hoc mesh networks without any accessory devices is a potential game-changer. This would make off-grid communication a native feature for billions of users, creating an incredibly vast and resilient secondary communication layer that could be activated during widespread emergencies. Furthermore, the increasing miniaturization and decreasing power consumption of radio chipsets will likely lead to mesh technology being embedded in a wider range of devices, from smartwatches and personal locator beacons to drones and environmental sensors, creating an interconnected internet of things that operates independently of the traditional internet. Another key trend is the move towards greater interoperability and standardization. Currently, the landscape is somewhat fragmented, with different platforms and protocols operating in closed ecosystems. A Gotenna device, for instance, cannot communicate with a device running MeshTastic. However, there is a growing push within the community and among some developers for common standards that would allow different types of mesh devices to communicate with one another. Achieving this interoperability would dramatically increase the utility and reach of off-grid networks, allowing for the creation of large-scale, resilient communication fabrics that span entire regions, as local and even state-level emergency management agencies begin to recognize the value of these citizen-powered networks. We may see more official support and integration, potentially providing public gateways and encouraging standardized protocols to better coordinate. Community-level response during a crisis. The future of communication in the US is not just about faster 5G or more fiber optic cables. It's also about building a more resilient, decentralized and user controlled foundation from the ground up. That's all for now. We will be back with more updates soon.